Subscribe, hit that bell icon and share this clip if you enjoy it. This is TRS Clips. This is a whole other podcast, but maybe you can give us a brief kind of, you know, outlook on what mm -hmm. this topic is all about. Kaal ki avtar. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> that's one of my favorite topics. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, that's we, we need to have a separate podcast for that. <laughs> that. It can be a separate Hindi podcast at some point. Sure. But maybe maybe you can brief us a little bit. So, you know, interestingly, again, as I said, you know, a lot of world mythologies have very common features. You know, there's this great deluge, which is there in all world mythologies, most world mythologies. A lot of world mythologies talk about the thunder god, which is Thor in Norse mythology. Indra. You know, Indra in Hindu mythology, Zeus in Greek mythology. A lot of world mythologies talk about the universal egg, the Brahman that we call. So very, very um, common threads running in most of the mythologies. And one of these is the return of a messiah. Okay, so the return of a savior. Because a lot of religions, they realize, and in even modern religions, even Islam and Christianity, you know, we're not talking just about the Greek and the Romans and the Egyptians. But a lot of modern religions also, all of them, they have this concept of the messiah returning. So Kalki, even Buddhists, you know, in Tibetan Buddhism, they believe that there would be a um, a king. Uh, I think they're called the Kulika kings, not Kalki uh, exactly, but Kulika kings. And there have been a succession of these kings. And the last of these would bring in a change, would usher in the golden age, exactly like our Kalki is supposed mm. to do. So Kalki is a very fascinating um, um, concept, I would say. And so various people look at it in different ways. Some people believe that, you know, humanity is just so discouraged with its own efforts that they need an external savior, right? To save themselves, you know, from themselves. They need an external savior. So again, that's a psychological concept that we, or philosophical concept that we don't really need to get into. But the scriptures do mention the return of Kalki. They do mention the return of the Lord as the last and final avatar for this yuga, which would be Kalki. And Kalki is supposed to return towards the end of the Kaliyug. So for Hindu timeline, it's a long, long, long way away. But when you're going to the Buddhist, uh, Tibetan Buddhist scriptures, you know, it's somewhere, it's supposed to happen somewhere around 2424 uh, AD. So it's not that far, you mm. know, maybe another 400 years or so. Mm. And um, Christianity also talks about the coming back of uh, the Messiah. Uh, Buddhism talks about the future Buddha is Maitre Buddha. You know, who would be coming. If you've been to Ladakh, there's this massive statue of Maitre Buddha there, you know, which is which is a tourist spot. And um, same, uh, similarly, you know, even in Islam, there's this concept of a Messiah coming. I'm forgetting the name, but there is a concept, not Prophet Muhammad, but another Prophet, you know, returning to bring back civilization into the uh, and give it the right direction. So a lot of these concepts are there. So again, it either is a prophecy that was heard by humanity when it was a, uh, when it was all together and not broken up into different uh, cultures and communities, or it is a hope for a better future that somebody will come someday to save us from what we are doing to us. Mm. So I think that's my take on Kalki. But scriptures do mention that this is an event that would happen. Yeah.